Okay, here you can see my dryer. It's running. It's not dis It's not connected to the wall vent because when it's connected to the wall vent, it will overheat. See the uh, duct not connected. This meter is set to show temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Right now it's about 98 degrees. It's measuring it. You can see where the probe goes to the back of the dryer in the back corner on top. Chose that corner because that's where the thermal fuse is located. If it gets too hot, the thermal fuse will overload and blow. You have to buy a new one. Dryer works just fine when it's not connected to the wall. Here it is running on high heat. Open the door briefly, you can see the clothing inside. Came to a stop. Let's start it up again. briefly a degree or two because the exhaust fan stopped pulling out the heat. But 100 degrees is not important, not significant. The fuse will blow at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. 101 degrees is not too uncomfortable to put your hand on, which I'll demonstrate now. is a bit hairy. Yeah, it's warm, 100 degrees. do a test in a while where I connect the dryer back up to the wall. We'll see how it works then. I'm expecting it will overheat if I do that because there seems to be a clog in the wall. Alright, stopping the video now. I'm going to run my dryer now while connected to the wall vent. In my experience this is going to cause it to overheat even though it won't overheat when it's not connected to the wall vent. Let's take a look behind the dryer now. And see where it's connected to the wall vent through the flexible duct. There's a temperature meter on top, right now 83 degrees Fahrenheit. It's measuring a temperature in the back corner of the top of the dryer, which is over the thermal fuse. If it gets too hot there, the thermal fuse will blow costing money. There's a few towels in the dryer. Let's close the dryer door. Turn on the dryer. Set the dryer from heat off to high heat. I'm going to put the camera on my tripod now. Before I do that, one last look. The duct is still in place. I'm not trying to do something funny. Okay, tripod. And let's see what the temperature does. Climbing up 98, 99, 100, 101, 
102, 3. The thermal fuse will blow if the thermal fuse temperature reaches 220 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to try to stop it before it blows. 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 115, 116, 117, 118, 19, 120. One twenty five, one thirty, still climbing. I better turn it off a high heat now. I'm going to put it back on to the heat off setting so it won't get any hotter. And in fact, it should help cool it a little bit faster than otherwise, faster than just turning it off. Temperatures up to one forty two. 143, 144, 145. Well, there should be no more heat being produced, so it should start to drop. Yeah, there it goes. 144. Mm -hmm. 143. 142. Well, assuming that this movie can let you see the temperature, then it should show that uh, the dryer will overheat while it's running connected to the wall vent. Let's take the camera now off the tripod one last time and show that the dryer is still connected to the wall vent. No funny business here. Okay, well, that's all for this segment of the video.